In my video on how to make a book cover with GIMP, I rushed through the process skipping over two vital steps in making a decent paperback book cover. Thankfully, I'm going to show you how to make a back book cover with GIMP today. Don't go anywhere! Welcome to Self Publishing with Dale, and if you're new to this channel and you want to learn how to publish and profit the right way, then subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it to get the notifications on all my latest videos. In my previous video on how to make a book cover spine with GIMP, I added one step previously missing from the first video. Naturally, I felt it was high time to put a pin in this how to make a book cover with GIMP series with this last step, creating a back book cover. Now, can you go without the back matter? Sure, but should you? Well, that's certainly debatable. Now, let's get to how to make a back book cover with GIMP. One, to help with good formatting, I searched for a top selling paperback on Amazon. Two, click on the see all images hyperlink below the book cover. Three, select the back cover, then right click on the image. Four, Select Save Image As and then save it where you can access it easily in your computer. 5. Go to your cover in GIMP. If you need help in setup, be sure to review my first video on how to make a book cover with GIMP. 6. Drag and drop the back cover you got on Amazon. 7. Select your resize tool and click the sample back cover. 8. Resize your sample back cover to fit the dimensions of your book. In this case, it's a 5x8 cover. 9. Select your alignment tool and click on the sample back cover. 10. In the Align menu, click the top and bottom centering button and then the left alignment button. 11. Now use your Move tool, click on the sample cover, then repeatedly tap your right arrow key until it lines up with the left side of the spine. 12. Get the text tool and set up text boxes over the areas where you plan to enter text. It doesn't have to look exactly like the sample cover, merely match it up as best you can. From time to time, you may have to shut off the sample cover to see how your text blends with the cover. Simply click the eye icon next to the sample cover layer. Remember to avoid any relevant text or matter in the pink bleed areas or over the barcode. CreateSpace will reject your cover if you don't honor those rules. Once you're set with the back cover layout, follow the instructions after step 28 in the how to make a book cover with the GIMP tutorial. Of course, shut off the sample cover layer before you export your finished paperback cover to PDF. Now you can finally put together a decent paperback book cover. You savvy self-publisher you. But wait! What exactly should you be putting on the back cover anyway? That's going to have to wait for another day. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I'll see you guys soon.